Hello, my name is Hector Velasquez, and welcome to another episode of GCS AA Inside the Shop. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about relays. If you've had electrical issues and you're searching through your harness, chances are you've come across one of these. Today, we're going to show you what it does, how it works, and how to troubleshoot it should you have one go bad. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the 12 volt relay that we're going to be using in this video. What is a relay? Relays are often used in circuits to reduce the current that flows through the primary control switch. A relatively low amperage switch, timer, or sensor can be used to turn a much higher capacity relay on and off. Now, a couple of things we're going to need for this test. We're going to need a multimeter. We're also going to need two relay wires to jump power to the relay. Or I like to use the power probe. It plugs in right into the equipment's battery and you'll have power right at your fingertips. Really nice tool to have. All right, let's get started. Now on the relay itself, you're already gonna have a lot of information available to you, including the schematic. As we see here from terminals 86 to 85 is what charges that coil inside this relay. As we can see, it's labeled here at the bottom as well. Really easy to identify. And this is the coil that gets charged. Now as that coil gets charged, it's gonna pull the plunger in and it's gonna complete the circuit between 87 and 30. And this is where it all happens right here. This is where contact is made. And we have a complete circuit between terminals 30 and 87. Now this is where the power probe shines. We're gonna grab this pigtail here, right off the power probe. Let's just call it the negative cable and we're going to plug that in right into terminal 86 and then we're going to power up the probe and plug into terminal 85 activating the coil and as you can see and here that plunger being pulled in and contact is being made so now for the second test we want to check for continuity between terminals 87 and 30 all right we got the meter set up we're gonna plug right into terminals 87 and terminal 30. And then we're gonna provide power to terminal 85. And what we're looking for, we have continuity. Point two, so that's really good. Well, as you can see, testing a relay really isn't that hard. I want to thank you for joining me here today on GCS AA Inside the Shop, where we're helping technicians one wrench at a time. <laughs>